make immersive fantasy collectibles, specifically collectible coins from Game of Thrones, The Lord of the Rings, The Wheel of Time. So we have literary licenses for all of our properties and we make handmade coins pretty much the same way that they would make them in the 1800s. We use solid metals, hand engraved designs, and really try to capture the feeling of this world. If you're looking for literary accuracy, we're the people to go to. It's, it's pretty cool. I've been able to um, see this grow just from passion. So my dad started making these coins just because he was a huge fan of the Lord of the Rings. Started making basically fan art um, that was coins from the Shire. And one of his customers or fans at the time put him into contact with George R. R. Martin and they started working together back in 2003 to develop just coins from the world of Westeros and Essos. Since 2003, it's grown just from my dad's side hobby into this fully licensed beast <laughs> that is now seven people um, as opposed to just one part-time. You know, we're not gonna cut corners on the coins. We do everything the hard way just because we want the authenticity. There's some really minor um, aspects to the way we make our coins that you wouldn't really notice unless I pointed them out, but it's the little intangible, um, hard to describe things that, that makes it feel real. Um, and if we were a huge company, I think all that would just go by the wayside. Yeah, we do everything in our shop in Arkansas, from the engraving of the designs, to stamping of the metal blanks, to the stamping of the coins. And we print all our own packaging. Even our like clamshell packaging for retail, that's all produced in the US. That's pretty much the only thing we don't make ourselves. We're very, very in-house. And the only um, metal that we source from outside the U.S. is the iron we use in our Iron Coin of the Faceless Man. That's imported from Germany because we couldn't find pure enough iron in the U.S. because we needed 99.98% pure iron <laughs> for that coin. We've had companies in China say, hey, we can save you some money. And we're like, no, we want absolute control. Um, every coin that gets packaged is quality controlled. Uh, we have, you know, big stacks of mistruck coins, so there's lots of hands that touch each one of our products. Um, each coin is slid into the machine by hand. Um, we could try to automate it, but we don't want to lose that, that control and that authenticity. We've done over 150 licensed coins and probably another 50 non-licensed, just our original designs. Um, we have a new line that is going to be released on Kickstarter um, pretty soon, September 2017, for whenever anyone is watching this, um, which is Brandon Sanderson, his Mistborn series. So we've got some new coins from that. So these um, are from two different time periods. So they have like a very distinct, look, different look and feel, even though this is the same coin blank. It's the same exact amount of metal. They just look really different. The engravings are really lovely. I just think my brother really outdid himself. My brother who is the, the head engraver um, at the company. That's currently what I'm all about. It's pretty rad that I was born into this this legacy, <laughs> this coin legacy. And I've, I've been around it for a really long time. My dad started doing this when I was like 11. Um, and we would go to like the Lord of the Rings movie premieres and like hand out little pennies. Um, so it's been in my head for a long time and been around for a long time. It's, I really like being able to, to grow that.